now let me explain to you a couple of details here okay so there are different fields that are available um, you have name so I've already explained that you have title so this is a unique name for the block this is the title that you see when you select the block so this title right here is the title you have description my text testimonial block then you have the category which we discussed so the different types of categories you have common formatting layout widgets and embed and those are the categories that you can see over here then you have icons so you definitely you can select different icon I can put an icon over here and I can put an icon let's say book alt and you will notice that the icon will change so now it's the book icon you can can I use a custom icon yes you can you can put SPG your own custom SPGs also you can also specify colors for the icon like this then you have got post types available so let's say I have a custom post type that I've registered somewhere here and if I want my blocks to be available to the custom post type as well I can just define put the post types uh, you know in this array so I can define a new field right here at the time of registration of the block and over here I can mention as to where all I want my block to be showing page and if you have any custom post type you can put the name over here okay so that's the post type then you have the mode so by default it's preview this means that if you click on it it will be showing the preview mode which is this this is how it will appear on the on the front end and if you click on this icon then it will go on to the editor mode okay by default it's on preview if you select auto then preview is shown by default but it changes to edit when the form is selected so that's why we have set, uh, put auto over here uh, I think we, we haven't okay so we can always put that mode as auto and if you select preview preview is always shown and the edit form will appear on the sidebar okay awesome so edit form will appear on the sidebar and it will always show the preview over here so I currently have set it to auto let's set it to preview refresh okay then you have options to align it you can do it like this like this you have different options available okay and then you have the render template option which I have just shown you you also have an option to do a render callback so in case uh, if your project is big I will suggest to use a render template and keep your code and the content that you want to show for that particular block uh, you know separate inside of the templates but if it's a small project it's completely your choice and preference then instead of doing render template over here you can use render callback so you can put render callback over here and then you put the function name here and just call this function and inside of that function you can write the content that you want to show on the editor and the front end as well okay so you can see this is the function and you can write all of your content inside of this function and just return it then you also have an option to NQ styles so you can NQ style for your CSS so just add the NQ style over here in fact you can add the whole thing right here and then just give the path to your CSS if you want your block to have that CSS okay uh, both for the front end and back end and if, I, if you want any scripts to be loaded any JavaScript to be loaded then you can use NQ scripts and so on so you can go through all of these these are pretty self-explanatory if you want your block to be displayed multiple times then you can use multiple uh, set to false uh, by default it's true but if you don't want your block to be shown multiple times then you set it to false okay awesome now let's let me explain to you what goes inside of the testimonial.php so what is this content basically so if I have to print so inside of this template you have the block object available and this block object contains all of the information for the block including the properties and methods we have registered over here this is similar to JavaScript even in JavaScript you have the object available for the block and it has got all the properties and methods including the ones we have defined okay so let's have a look so I'm just going to refresh the page and let me show you what's inside of this so you can see that uh, you have the name 
which is ACF testimonial and that's the name we had kept it is adding the prefix by default as ACF but the name of the block is testimonial you have the title okay you have the description okay you have category icon mode so that's what all we have put mode is preview you have keywords we haven't used any keywords support alignment left to right okay post types so you can see these are the post types will show ignore the CPD because there's no CPD exists so I'll just put that like that just to show you render template so you can see it's giving the absolute path up until the testimonial.php you have render callback we haven't put anything so that's not showing that NQ style script NAS it's not using that this is important this is the block ID so this is a unique ID for the block and then you have the data property it contains the array of the values that you put for all of these so you have testimonial author you know uh, image so all of these values are stored over here in inside of the data for the block awesome so what we are doing over here is we are actually using the block ID so I'll show you where that goes so if you do an inspect element here so you can see this this is the block this is our block block container which is div right here and the ID is basically the ID that we are putting right here so it contains the block ID now we already have the block ID is this so that's what is going over here right so you have testimonial which is testimonial dash and then the block ID then if we have the anchor available then we'll set the ID equal to anchor then you have class name so by default we are keeping the class name as testimonial uh, that's why you can see it's testimonial right here but if we add our own class name at the time of registration of the block so let's say we put class name hello class then that would show right here let's refresh you can see we've got the hello class so that's what we are doing over here we are checking we are actually setting the class as testimonial and if in case we we have a set a class at the time of registration then we're just going to add that class name uh, after testimonial that we've said so if you have any alignment property then that will be added to the class as well over here okay then we have text so we already know that in ACF we work with ACF we know that get field is going to get, give us the value of that particular field so we have all of these field defined like testimonial author role image and so on so we're just getting those values and if if the value is not available then we are just you know rendering the default text that's why you were able to see a default text when you did not uh, you know enter any values over here so you have all of these default values and if there are values available actually we have entered any values then those will be equal to these okay and the text color and all of that stuff okay so we just have the div with an id so the id that we have put over here will be rendered here class name whatever class name we have appended is going to be showing over here similarly you have block quote inside of it we are just rendering the text author and role okay and then you have the image wp get attachment image is going to get me the image which is being rendered here so if you have a look we have the content inside of it testimonial image this is the div and you have the image right here okay and then you have the style tag so this is the style and then we are using the ID so it's testimonial dash block ID then we have the background color which we have set from here and because we are getting the value from here this is background color and text that is what is being displayed right here and that is being applied to the block with this ID awesome because that's the ID you can see this is the ID and this is the ID that's being applied awesome so you if you notice how simple how easy it was you can read more about it there's a very extensive documentation available on the ACF and they've got a really good support as well I asked them a query and I got the reply like almost instantly okay so if you are a PHP developer who don't want to write too much of code just want to start building blocks simply easily and uh, less time consuming so it's going to be super simple and super fast then I think ACF is the right choice.
you are love JavaScript, then you can definitely build blocks in JavaScript as well using React. Awesome. So I hope guys you did like the video. If you did like it, please give a thumbs up and do share my videos with others. You can also follow me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is Imran H. Sayan, where I'll be posting more of the tutorials. Okay. Awesome. Take care guys. Bye-bye. See you then and do subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye.